Hey y'all, it's Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafting coming to you from North Georgia and we're going to be making some stamps tonight. Um, actually, we're going to be making Easter stamps because I am doing a, um, a swap over on Ginger's Corner and I signed up for the Easter basket embellishment swap today. So I have to make some Easter embellishments and I really don't have a lot of Easter things. I don't have any Easter dies. I don't think I've really got any Easter stamps. I mean, I could always print something and use my, my silhouette to cut it out, but I did find some paper. So I've got uh, a lot of my like odd paper that maybe I'd bought in a set or had been gifted or found at a thrift store. Um, I went ahead and cut it up and, and cut it in card fronts. So I do have um, an Easter spring section. Um, so I've got this, I've got some crosses, and I've got a lot of four-leaf clover. I think that actually came from, you know, the, it's like a holiday set from Walmart. So, um, it's not real thick paper either. So, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to cut this apart, and we're going to make postage stamps. I'm not going to show you the finished product yet, because I want you to be surprised. Um, I did have this cut into a card front. I've not used it, though, so we're just going to cut it down. It's nice that these bunnies are in rows so I'm able to use my paper cutter and I'm just going to cut up a row and I only want the whole rabbits so oops, I'm going to trim a little bit This does not require a lot of tools. Um, I've got a paper cutter just because I really like straight lines. It's the math teacher in me. All right, set that to side right now. So I ended up with, out of that one strip, I've got three bunnies. Now, can you see that those are gonna make perfect postage stamp embellishments? Okay, next thing is I went to my scraps and I pulled out some Easter colored, um, like scraps. Just, you know, what did I think, what was kind of Eastery? I really don't have enough border on that one. I might for this one. Yeah, so I need a little bit of a border because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some decorative scissors. And there's, there's a lot of different ones you can use. I mean, you could even use um, pink and sheer ones if you've just got the basic ones. But I am going to mat this on here. And let's go ahead and do it with all these. This goes so fast once you kind of get a plan together and um, very little supplies. And use up some of those scraps. Because we're all we're all trying to do that. Yeah, I don't think I can get. And these are, honestly, these are, I've made nine just a few minutes ago. These are so addictive. I've kind of been thinking about it. Um, I don't have a postage stamp die or punch or anything, but I do have these um, decorative scissors. These, this is called inchworm. So, and, and there's, there's lots of other ones you can use, but now I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut around and I'm going to line up one side with the bunny. Since these were white, I just thought it really added to it to matte. Um, you can see the decorative edge a lot better, I think, with it matted. There's one. See how fast this goes. These are not the best scissors. I don't recognize this brand. I was using another um, design. And we're almost done. And uh, the next part, I've really improvised this. So you may have seen on another video, I did buy, it was a haul video. I bought a set of like handmade stamps. It was four little wooden stamps at Hobby Lobby. I think it was Hobby Lobby or Joanne's. Ooh, now I can't remember. Um, they were up front though in the like little, like the, you know, bargain deals. And I did not pay much for these. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's in that video. I think maybe a dollar ninety nine. It's not a bunch for four of these. But the round part um, that reminded me of, like the stamps that 
they get whenever they you mail out a letter. I can't think of what it's called. Um, let me find, okay. Let me pull out some scraps here because I'm not going to stamp right on them. I want to kind of stamp off. And you know, what, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is, okay, so without showing you my address this time, I had to edit that out. Um, these kind of wavy lines is what I'm trying to get at. Some kind of um, postage markings. So I'm going to use these and I'm just going to kind of stamp off. And I use two different ones. It just makes it interesting. And you're not even like, it's, it's not that anybody's even going to read it. It doesn't even have to be the best stamping. Um, like not dark. I am doing it black because that's, you know, what color the postage or post office would do it. But there they are. And, you know, I just think those are so cute. So there is, I don't know if I'll put anything else, but I'm thinking like maybe a, a set, um, like a boy and a girl set of, of stamps for my swap. And let me show you the others that I made. So that one's red. These are on some kind of pink. And these are all um, things I pulled out of my scrap. So these were so fun to make. I think this paper came from Hobby Lobby. It was like one of those, uh, like where they're discontinuing a paper and they put all the, like a bunch of odd paper together and sell it. So I think that's how I ended up with it. So I have lots more girls, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. See ya.